Hello, you wonderful franchise mode fans. Welcome to another episode of uh, Planet Zoo Franchise Mode. It's Friday, it's nearly weekend. Well, actually, it is weekend. For most people, it's already weekend. Uh, depending on which part of the world you are, uh, you are potentially already very close to Saturday. So, it's time to up the game already of Planet Zoo again. Um, yeah, you've seen the first video of uh, this franchise mode series where I basically um, started off with the visitor center and I talked you through a little bit of my problems and all these kind of things. In today's episode, we are finally uh, making the turnover happen. Um, however, I thought it would be nicer for you um, to see basically the kind of uh, creation process of two habitats, which is in fact uh, this lemur habitat over here. Again, it's not yet being very creative, it's just making the bare minimum work uh, so that we have a lot of animals in the park that make the, you know, that kind of draw enough guests into the park to make our financial situation a little bit better. However, if you haven't seen the first episode, I would highly recommend to click the link on the top right now, uh, because that's the first episode where we build uh, kind of the foundation to this park. So, all right, now, first things first, I need to give a huge thanks to Delay Designer, who basically helped me getting rid of my most annoying issue, and this was our keepers not feeding our animals. And it actually was until today a bug. Hopefully it's fixed. I haven't seen or tried out if the update that should be out today, I'm not even sure if it's out yet, because I literally just started the computer to do the voiceover. Um, but the update, and they said yesterday evening in the forums that the update will fix it. So if you don't know, there was a, a, a fi yeah, kind of a very finicky issue um, that if your zookeepers um, were set to a roster and the roster has not um, all different building things inside the roster, they won't work. So here's the thing. What I did, and I did this fully on purpose, you can see by the way exactly on this position that my staff members were just idling there, nothing doing, they were just standing there and on the left hand side you see all the messages. I was just popping down a lot of zookeepers in the hope that they will do stuff, but they ended up not doing anything. Um, and here's the reason why. So my idea was to create this visitor center in the center of my zoo, actually one part of the zoo, um, to make sure that this area of the park is mainly the main go-to point for all the staff members in terms of the main buildings. That said, I'm talking about the quarantine, the veterinarian station, uh, the staff rooms and all this kind of stuff. The only thing I wanted to put next to the um, to the real habitats basically was the keeper hut and maybe one staff room if there is another one not close enough by. So that was my idea. So what I ended up doing is I um, created a roster which actually only had the keeper hut and the habitat in it. So that I said, okay, you know, this is mm, keeper number one and you should only deal with the habitat for the lemurs and you have your kitchen nearby to use. For everything else, just use the visitor center. And I was like, okay, if they don't have anything to assigned to their roster, they are just going to use the next nearby building. That's not happening. If you create a roster, the moment you assign a member, a staff member to the roster, they only can use buildings that are within the roster. So effectively, uh, effect, uh, well, um, what eventually happened is that the, you know, the zookeepers were idling around because they had no staff room to go to recover. And that was the main issue here. And uh, yeah, uh, I mean, it's really a pity because um, that was something that, that kept me busy for a while because my animals kept starving and then there was like a zookeeper, uh, a zoo inspector coming around, punished me a lot uh, for what I did and uh, yeah, I ended, up, I ended up having a lot of issues. Let's put it that way. I was about to say something else anyway. But no, um, I had all these issues and uh, it didn't really work out the way it worked and yeah, so you can see that I am um, struggling a lot, but I'm also doing a lot in the zoo. I was also getting way too many zookeepers because since it won't work for me, I thought, okay, I'm just plopping down more keepers and eventually it has to work. But the thing is, the more I assigned them to different uh, habitats, they wouldn't work anyways because, you know, the roster wasn't fixed. So it was the lady designer who told me that I needed to bring in all the different builders, uh, buildings into the roster, which for me, to be honest, I, I understand now how this works. I do understand that I have to put them in, but for me, it was a little bit of a bummer because it was like four times the work I had because I needed to 
take the same quarantine at the same veterinarian station and assign that to four different rosters instead of just leaving them open and let the keepers decide themselves to go to the next close by building. So it's I hope that they have fixed this because for me that's a huge issue and uh, yeah you can see the next issue I had was that I have you know there was a little bit of a, a traffic jam happening. Um, and I also later on I changed a little bit of the design of the pathway so that it's a bit easier to go. Um, but let me just give you the best uh, little info here. So the next thing we are do doing next time is we are basically um, finishing off this first area because now I'm finally doing some money. So tomorrow evening you can already put that into your calendars if you have time. I think it will be somewhat around 11ish p.m. where I will be starting to stream. Yes, I know it's pretty late, but you know, for those of you who are not like Central European time, uh, they might even be happy with that. So I'm, I'm planning to stream again till 3, 4 a.m. in the night and we are playing the franchise mode to make the zoo uh, look a lot nicer. We will finally finish the first area of the park also in terms of beautification. We'll make it all look a lot nicer, a lot cleaner, a lot more zoo-ish before we then hopefully can start off, maybe even in the stream, start off doing the first like bigger indoor area, which I have plenty of ideas what we can do about this um, and also somewhat of a special thing with the garials I have kind of tested something which worked out pretty dope um, but yeah the only reason why I'm not further into this yet is that I'm preparing something special for you guys uh, I am doing something in, 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 the, in the other park in the in the scenario park um, which took longer than I expected but I, I think if I take the night today um, not streaming, but doing for my own. I will be able to finish it off by end of today. Maybe by tomorrow morning, I should say better. Um, yeah, but you know, it, it will be very special. So keep your eyes on the channel. I will try to upload this somewhere around five, se six ish in the afternoon, sun Saturday afternoon. Um, and I hope that this will be blow you, blowing you away. Um, I, I can only say that this is something special, but uh, I don't want to give anything away right now because, uh, yeah, you should hopefully be very excited about that. By the way, this is exactly where I got all the punishment. Um, and also, you can see that this is the reason there was my, one of my bad tape here was... Uh, has starved away or kind of passed away I should say and while the inspector was in the zoo and uh, a dead animal gives a punishment of minus 3000 uh, and an injured animal also gives a punishment of 3000 so I, I you know I think they should balance this as well um, also you get a fine for bad food 500 like I got so many punishments that I was basically near bankruptcy you can see this to the bottom left and I actually I was very 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 close to giving up I was like okay I you know I don't know and what I did as you can see I was just trading all my freaking uh, Nile monitors because we had like I think 15 cups by the time and uh, this was just very nasty and also uh, the kind of uh, I didn't even think about the fact that the scorpions can also get babies and you can see I was trading like 15 scorpions then as well they got all the babies even they've been very pregnant a little bit of a bummer is that the multi select feature isn't working right now so I needed to do this all one by one which was really annoying um, but in the end it, it just worked and I got a little bit of money because actually uh, scorpions are pretty expensive I think one scorpion brought me like one two or three hundred bucks so if you're 15 uh, it's, it's kind of good because you get a little bit of money but yeah as I said at the end of the time uh, I was finally um, yeah uh, kind of in the lucky position uh, to do it also um, I was trying to put some mantles in I couldn't buy them from the franchise mode um, uh, shop, but also they fix it today. They changed the time for animals to be available in the uh uh, animal trading center from 24 hours actually to one hour I, I've heard a lot of people complaining about that but to be honest I think this is a way better a way better thing because that means animals get in there quicker um, the loading times are better and it's just not as cramped you know because the, the biggest issue is that the servers are just running full by the time that everyone during a day is putting their animals in and it, it's getting really really annoying by the time because really uh, if everyone is putting in the animals holy cow that's that's you know that's really cramped and then uh, you have like a million African wild dogs and you don't even want to scroll through all of them uh, so it's a good solution to have it only available for one hour and also I mean the frontier zoo which is basically the, the base 
um, source for animal, once there's not, nobody else uh, uploading animals, um, is always uh, the best thing to have. Um, so I think they will also have a higher uh, refresh rate and that means you get better animals by the time it's easier to get good animals, which makes the whole thing a bit easier, but on the uh, same time, um, it's a bit more, uh, I think, starter friendly um because i you know uh, many people had a lot of issues really playing from the get-go and uh, it was very very tough thing by the way this is the last enclosure or habitat we are building in the time lapse before we jump in into a very short real-time part um the thing about this is that uh my my wolf enclosure is really that what saved my life this is um, something extremely, extremely helpful because the wolves immediately became the most appealing animal of my park. Um, I put them to the entrance of uh, my zoo, which uh, will be changed eventually because I want to have like the entrance to a new area over here. But for the moment, I needed to have this habitat here to make sure that my guests don't need to walk further into the zoo. I just wanted to make them really come into the zoo, walk straight to the habitat of my wolves and just throw the money at me <laughs> that's basically what i wanted them to do um the good thing though was um that i got little cups very quickly and i got a lot of cups and they will also help me to get a lot of these uh um, conservation points which we still need a lot because i don't really have that many um but uh, you know uh, by the time we have all of the cups raised to maturity and we can sell them or trade them it will be a lot better and yeah, what we definitely have to look into tomorrow is we have to manage a bit better the gas flow. Uh, the gas flow at the moment is really not great because it seems that the lemurs and this uh, mixed habitat to the right hand side with the buffaloes is still very very appealing to the guests and so that means they are all tending towards the right hand side of my zoo so while the left hand side of the zoo with the mandrills and the birds tapirs is not that much um, crowded because people seem not to like it uh, one thing i did already as you can see i changed the viewing gallery from uh, basically over this little um, tighter corner towards the more open and widespread uh, entrance area of the zoo which um I will completely change towards the end because this is not how a zoo works. You just don't get into a zoo and see the great animals straight ahead. That's not how it works. Uh, we definitely need a lot more facility buildings at the beginning. We need a lot more smaller things, souvenir shops and stuff like that before you really get into the zoo area and themed areas because, you know, but we will do this uh, once we have a lot more money and a lot more time. Um, for the moment, that's it. Um, I'm slowly saying uh, goodbye for the time-lapse part, but stick with me because we're now jumping into the real-time part. Uh, and also, you need to tell me, this time I have my own music, but I now also have the Planet Zoom music available. So tell me in the comments down below if you want to better have the Planet Zoom music looping in the background, or do you want to have uh, still my kind of uh, own African-style music? Let me know in the comments down below, but now let's switch to the real-time part. So yeah, as I promised, here we are in the real-time part of my video. We are starting from the guest position. I'm using the Tagit Cam mode here to show you a little bit around. So this is the entrance area as promised. And yeah, if we look to the left, this is exactly where the little wolves are. As you can see, all the cups are running around here. You can even see this little, look at that wonderful little rainbow effect in um, the sprinkler. I love it. Also, we have to have a mechanic, I guess, because the, the, the window looks already a little bit a little bit destroyed. I don't even know if, if my wolves did actually um, uh, hit it or if it's kind of working. Um, you can see my education obviously working. Um, yeah, the cubs are just playing in the back there, enjoying a little bit of the snow and obviously with coolers. Oh, actually we should have looked into better food. That's not nice. Anyways, if we go further, um, as I said, I don't want to keep it too long. Um, we have to, wait, I can't even see the, 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 the head of this one, uh, of the ostrich over here because I can't really, I, I would love if they would lower down the viewport of the Tedget Cam a little bit. We have our little friend down here who is actually finally grown up. Are you stinky or is this the food? Oh, it's the food back. Okay, that's the food. Um, oh, look at this. Just drinking a little bit. Um, yeah, with the buffalo in the back. Um, oh, the enrichment items seem to just float in the water. I would need to put them back into position. Yeah, if we work a little bit further, we have those two uh, lovely little exhibit animals over here. I think on the left hand side it's the boa. Uh, if we can catch it, the yellow boa, I guess it is. Um, I can't really catch it. Is it hanging in the trees? No, it's not. 
Where, where are you? Oh no, it's not the yellow one, it's the normal one. There we go. Um, and we have a lot of scorpions in here, but I, if I'm about to find them, uh, it takes uh, potentially too long because they're too small and we show maybe in the back. Not really. I'm sitting on the... No? Maybe I don't even spot it right now, but there's a lot going on. Oh, I can see the tail at least of one. There we go. Um, on here. Wait, I need to move a little bit slower. I said slower. Hello. Here we go. Okay, maybe we need to go and look from the other side. Ah, uh, there it is. There it is. Look at that, guys. Look at it. It's just sitting right and left on the trunk. It's not really. It's a little bit floaty. Um, anyhow. Um, okay. So yeah, that's the the one part. We've seen the vet just running over there. Uh, we go to. You know what? We go to the left hand side and then we just go all the way around. It's not that much to see, but I just wanted to show it to you. Real. Oh god, this is nearly about to break. We need more mechanics. That's for sure. That they are fixing it. Um, yeah, the bad tape here is basically shitting. Oh <laughs> Perfect timing again as always. I love the effect like how you have the little um, Light effect on the on the window. It's like an actual zoo. You can't really see that much if you're standing in the wrong angle um, So you're willing to have a better angle like I can just easily go in but yeah the other ones can't they have food That's good. The f as I said the problem is fixed finally don't really want to play with the ball um, Anyways, we go further because uh, I don't want to What was that? Oh, it looked like a giraffe head, but it was a bit weird. So yeah, if we go further, you can see to the left hand side, this is Carlson's uh, little uh, habitat. I'm calling it Carlson because in Germany there is a saying, actually I don't know in Germany, but there's a there's a little um, story, uh, the fairy tale, it's Carlson vom Dach, which is basically translated uh, to English Carlson from the roof. And because one of those two is actually sitting in the, look at, oh my god, look at that. It's actually just sitting in that thing. How cute is this? Oh my goodness. That is so cool, you know, Carlson is just sitting in its- Oh wait, I need to- We go back into Tadget Cam, but I need to make a wonderful screenshot of this because that's just beyond cool. Oh my god, it's so cute, look at that! Uh, okay. This is- This is actually pretty cool. Um, alright. So please don't crash game because it, that that's legit the coolest thing ever. It's just chilling right into this- I mean, that's so cool! It's just chilling in here in the, in the treehouse. Carlson is just chilling in the treehouse. How cool is that? Um, it's just sitting in here and watching the people. It's like our little Baywatch uh, uh, kind of uh, swimming guard. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> okay, let's just wait if it's keeping... Oh my goodness, that's so cool. I can just move it. Look at... <laughs> I mean... I didn't even know that they would do it, but this is just so cool that they actually do it. Can you maybe look to my side, please? That would be cool to make an even better screenshot. Come on, look over to here. Mm, come on. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Okay, do it. Yeah, do it again. Do it. Come on, scream again. Or roar. Is it actually, how is it called? Is it screaming? Is it roaring? That's so cool. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, mate. Um, <laughs> no, just... Okay, let's... All right, okay, okay. Oh, that was actually, that was, I mean, it wasn't perfect, but it was, uh, okay, what is that? Um, yeah, still they have to work on that. Let's go back to Tagit Cam, though. Um, where is the Tagit Cam? Let's go to pause mode. Um, Tagit Cam, who is the, the, the Tagit Cam this time? Have you been Tagit Cam? No, I wanna have, click you, I wanna click you. This is Tagit Cam, perfect, great. Let's go back into the area. Well, let's hit the play button again. Here we go. So Carlson is now moving. Ah, oh, look at that. It's it's climbing back to the roof. Oh my god, that's so cool. Yeah, a little bit glitchy. The the climbing system is a little bit glitchy, but I'm I'm still pretty happy how they use the stuff you build. Uh, it's very cool indeed. Anyways, if we go to the right hand side, it's the Nile monitor over here. Um, they are moving some stuff away. We only have two, and I I gave them contraceptives because I don't want to have like 15 babies again. Can you put the litter away, please? Oh, I, w I was just about to say there's a little box just here, but it's a donation box. Anyways, you can throw it into this. Ah, you have them. You have them stuff, guys. Yeah, on this side, you can still have a look to our Nile monitors. There's just one swimming. Nothing too exciting. This is like a very ugly habitat, but people still love it. Yeah, and on the left-hand side, we have our lemur habitat. As you can see, there's education over here, the lemur kara. Um, yeah, there's one climbing over here. 
um, yeah, doing some weird stuff. And there's some... Oh, babies! We finally have the babies! I was hoping that they get some babies for our contra... Uh, how's it again? Um, con conservation points. That's what I, what I wanted to say. Conservation points. Very cool. Um, they fixed the breeding system, so you can finally let them breed, because uh, they are not getting like a million babies. They're so cute. Can we just go a bit closer to this? I just want to go... Um, oh my god, I should have I should have stayed in Tetrid Cam. That would have been easier to get very close to the animals. Never mind. Okay, we can still do this, I guess. Look at how cute they are. You know what? We need to get back into Tetrid Cam because Tetrid Cam uh, is easy because you can zoom into animals, what is really helpful to be for. Okay, that's not. I need to name them all Tetrid Cam now. Tetrid Cam. All oh, right, I can finally type. How cool is that? Uh, let's just run over there. Uh, we can go through walls because we are just very good. Uh, okay, let's unpause the game. Here we go. Now we can just zoom. Oh, never mind. Okay, see you later, I guess. Look at that little cutie. Come closer, please. Come, 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 come. Come over. Oh my god, I don't want to climb. Okay, here we go. This is so cute. Okay, this is like proper climbing. I like that, you know? This is how it should... Didn't say anything. Well, that was my fault, I guess. This is pretty accurate climbing. I love it. Oh my god. Okay, let's zoom out a bit so that we don't... Oh, where am I? Um, maybe I can just spot one of them a bit better from over here. Oh, there's one sitting very nicely indeed over here. Look at that. Look at that little cara sitting here. Ah, uh, hello, hello, friend, hello. Look at how. Oops. Okay, I was about to say. Look at how close you can get. Oh my goodness. Let's just take a little screenshot over here. This is so cool. Okay. Um. Yeah. I guess we've seen everything for this episode. I just want to say um, thanks again for watching all the videos and just having having fun with me. Oh my god. Look. Oh, wow. Well, why did I even move? Ah. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm distracted by the animals. <laughs> I should really now stop this video. I was about to say it's just a very short real-time part, but way too long. So that's the overview of my zoo right now. Again, it's not um, re really creative. Like, I like the center part. It will stay, but we will definitely continue to improve the overall uh, habitats around. I think the mental habitat will most likely stay. Also, the lemur habitat, both of them will be improved. This one will completely go away. There will be something else. The nine money were only there to, to get some money. We will improve their area and uh, exchanging with something else but first of all we need to make some money we have like 50,000 we have a good profit at the moment so we are looking into this uh, now but yeah again tomorrow evening I'll be streaming this again from like 11 12 ish and then we're gonna see how this works but for now thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one bye Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video, I really do appreciate that. As always, uh, make sure to check out also my social media channels, you can find me everywhere under at RudyRandCamel. Also, big thanks to the crew, uh, you can see it on the left hand side right now. And as always, if you want to see more, you click that card on the top right. And if you want to stick around because you like the stuff you've just saw, you just saw, whatever, you know what I mean, just uh, click that sub button which is to the bottom right of the screen right now. But everything else I can say is have a great time and see you next time. Bye guys. Nothing.